So the Lord, he often, as you guys know, he'll give me a message just out of anything. You know, sometimes, most of the time, it's a message for myself. Uh, other times, it's just a message for the people. You know, he's giving me messages, you know, with the shower, um, just different things that I see all around me. So anyways, I was in Target and, you know, I just moved into my apartment. Uh, I just started school today, which was very interesting. And uh, I was just getting some things for the house, you know, little floor mats and things like that. I had to get some sheets for the bed. So I went to the store, all right, and I grabbed, you know, I'm looking at the, the sheets, the selection of sheets they have, and you know how they have the different sizes and everything, right? So I see the color that I want, you know, I see the, the size that I need, and I grab it. Now check this out. I come home, and I'm so excited. And I start trying to put the sheet on the bed, right? And before I open it all the way up, I come over here and, you know, I put one corner on and it looks, it looks good. It looks like, all right, we're going to get somewhere. We look like this is going to fit, right? I come to the other side, all right? And next thing you know, the sheet just starts popping, you know, from different corners because obviously it's too small. And I start getting frustrated because I didn't realize that it was too small, right? I thought maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm messing it up. And it's so funny how God gave me the message. After I went around the whole bed probably about two or three times and I realized this thing is not going to fit. It's too small. I got up. I walked back over here and I already knew it was going to happen. I looked at the tag from the sheet and it's not the correct size. But check this out. It was in the position. So it was in the queen size position, right? But it's a twin. How many times? Check this out. This is this is amazing when God hit me with this revelation, right? We say, oh, I'm a king. I'm a queen. And I'm not just talking about in relationships. We say, you know what? I can do that. I can do that. And so we put ourselves in a certain position, right? I went to Target. And I was looking for a certain size. It's my fault that I didn't check the label. But I just grabbed it and I assumed, well, because this says it's a queen sp uh, spot, right? Then it's going to be a queen. Man, let me show you what God just showed me. No matter how much that I try to stretch this thing and make it fit, it's never going to fit. I'm going to have to rip it in order to make it fit. Now, with that being said, yes, maybe I'm going to use the example of marriage. You said, I am a husband. I am a wife. But then when you got married, you started realizing like, man, I'm not properly equipped. Right. And no matter how much I try to stretch and pull and pry, the only way that I'm going to be able to fit is if I rip a little bit. The only way that I'm going to be able to fit is if I tear down some of my thinking, my feelings, my emotions, my way of doing things. But check this out. How many times have we sit there in our ignorance and we, we put ourselves in a position, in our arrogance, and we said, you know what, I'm this, or I could do your job better than you. But then when it's time to actually work, when it's time to actually do it, you realize it's not as easy as you thought. I could be the president. I could be the CEO. I could be the pastor. I could be the lead worship singer. I think that I can do it. But even though I'm only a twin, I'm going to try to put myself in the king or queen position. But when it comes time to do king stuff and queen stuff, I can't make the cut. And what happens? I'm over here stressed out trying to make it fit because it was out of position. I'm over here stressed out trying to make it work. And guess what? It's Marcus Rogers fault because even though there's imposters out there, you said you was a king. You said you was a queen. But the truth is I should have took time to get to know, oh, nope, it's a twin. Man, stressing myself out trying to put this sheet on. But people will do that in life. I got everything that you need. I got it. I fix it. I handle it. I'm a king. I'm a queen. I got the truth. I'm smart. I'm a prophet. I'm apostle. And we don't take time to look. We just see them in the position. Then look, boom, doesn't fit. I thought you said you was a husband. I thought you said you was a wife. 
I thought that you said you was a prophet. Check how it works. I'm in the position. I'm a prophet. And the Lord says, uh, blah, 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 blah. Then when it comes time to it, uh, your prophecy ain't fit in my life. Your prophecy ain't fit in my marriage. Your prophecy ain't really fit in my situation. Your prophecy didn't really come to pass. It didn't really work out the way that you said it was going to work out. You said you was a man of God. You said you was a pastor. Hey, the word that you just gave me ain't really lining up with the scripture. It's not really fitting with the Bible. But we don't take time. The Bible says to test every spirit. Just because it's in the position does not mean that it is anointed. Just because it's conveniently in the position does not mean that it's the right one for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just because they said they were a husband, just because they said they were a wife, just because they said they were a pastor, doesn't mean that they're the one for you. You guys be blessed, be encouraged in Jesus' name.